Lecture 8, Module 1, Demaic Improve Stage 1. Develop Solutions from Teams. Topics in this section on developing solutions are brainstorming, negative brainstorming, assumption busting, pokey okay, and benchmarking. <coughs> brainstorming, which were discussed in uh, Lecture 6, <coughs> is a technique where a Six Sigma team tries to find a solution to a problem by collecting ideas directly from the team. Brainstorming typically follows some basic but effective rules for running the session. As we saw before, you should focus on quantity. Generate lots of ideas, the more the better. Withhold criticism. Nothing will derail brainstorming faster than criticizing an idea. Every team member should feel free to throw out an idea. <coughs> Welcome, even encourage unusual ideas. Don't round up the usual suspects or propose the perennial candidates. Encouraging new ideas may provide better solutions. And combine and improve ideas. <clears throat> ideas are easily built on and improved. 1 plus 1 equals 3. Look for and accept improvements to ideas. Negative brainstorming is a unique application of brainstorming where a Six Sigma team will deliberately try to create problems to identify their root causes. Basically, if you think of ways that problems can be created, you have already started with their cause. Instead of how can we create 100% customer satisfaction, the question then becomes how can we lose 100% of our customers? By identifying ways that customers can become dissatisfied and leave, steps can be taken to eliminate these causes before they become a real problem. For instance, ways to lose customer number one. Never send them their order. How can this happen? Well, you forget to enter the order in the system. How can this happen? Lose the order paperwork. How can this happen? Ship it to the wrong address, etc., etc. Once you've identified all the possible ways that you can chase away a customer, work your way backwards from these errors to prevent them. Assumption busting challenges the underlying assumptions we all have about the way things are. We are often hindered from finding solutions because we are imprisoned by assumptions whose validity <coughs> we may have never challenged. These assumptions can be existing department policies, rules, or even procedures that may need to be changed. Use the five whys to challenge your assumption. For instance, the assumption it takes at least one month to get a protocol approved, very common. Why? The approval process takes at least one month. Why? Because each approver has to sign the protocol one at a time. Well, why? Because the protocol is routed from approver to approver in their office mail, and each approver mails it to the next guy. Why? That's just the way we do things here. Solution, when the protocol needs to be signed, either walk it around to each approver one by one for signature or schedule a meeting that with approvers to sign the protocol, get it all done in one day. Pokey OK or error proofing is an important tool for completely eliminating the chances for errors to be made. <coughs> Pokey OK is based on the simple idea that we should remove the possibility for an error to even take place. For example, if we determine that a part can be placed in its, in its correct position or into another incorrect position, design the part so it cannot be placed into the incorrect position, for instance, a square peg in a round hole. The three-prong uh, uh, adapter for electrical outputs is a good example. It cannot be put in uh, incorrectly. Pokey-OK -OK can also be used for detection of errors and stopping those errors before they become defects by using shutdowns, controls, or warnings. The Pokey OK approach should be used for any high risk items found during the FMEAs to completely eliminate the, and, or prevent these failures. Benchmarking as a tool can be used in the improve phase to find out what other similar companies have done with similar problems. While there is a danger of benchmarking another company and adopting inferior, not quite appropriate solutions, benchmarking can accelerate the process of finding so, uh, good solutions, or at least finding a, get, getting you another list. Possible ways to benchmark, visit another Lean Six Sigma company that, that, that's uh, been implementing ahead of you. Form a Lean Six Sigma benchmarking discussion group. Network with industry colleagues. Try something very simple. There's a high probability that a simple Google search will reveal something useful or a discussion thread where several practitioners have already discussed the problem. Be careful when benchmarking. Here we see a herd of zebras getting water from a hole. Now, all zebras know that there's a possibility that there's a lion nearby waiting to pounce on them. All zebras also intuitively know that if there's a zebra to the left of them and a zebra to the right of them, that they're flanked and protected by the zebras on either side. So when a zebra finds himself on the very end of the herd, he knows he's exposed on that side, he will run around to the back of the herd and squeeze in between two other uh, zebra. 
and then the guy who was next to him will notice that he's now exposed on one side, and they, they constantly run from the, from the ends and squeeze themselves into the center. The pharmaceutical companies uh, have been very much like this. Not being what wish to be picked out or picked off by the uh, FD, <coughs> FDA, they have uh, you know uh, adopted the best practices or the same practices as, uh, as other companies. So they hide within the herd. This is not a good approach and can lead to the adoption of mediocre uh, and average uh, types of approaches, not uh, leading the pack. Uh, 